Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Time is running out, guys. You guys have less than 30 days to get entered to win my 1,000 horsepower second gen shorty. We call it Murder Ram. It's the route of your second gen on planet Earth and it could be yours. All you gotta do is click the link above or in the description today to get entered. Super simple. And on June 20th, we'll be announcing the winner. We'll fly out, we'll spend the day together. I'll teach you how to give everybody the gap will be we'll go out to dinner. And then I'll send you on your jolly way with your new truck. Sell it, trade it, keep it forever, give it to your kids, light it on fire. It's, it's literally yours, you, you can do whatever you want. Like I said, there's less than 30 days left to get entered, so act fast. Good luck to everybody and enjoy the video. Those are nice. Too bad we're not gonna fucking wire them up. <laughs> <laughs> SCK light bar sent me out these these light pods, and I also have a 20 inch light bar that goes behind there. But for now, we're just doing the light pods. They're going to be brighter than Jesus. I mean, because the grill and the headlights weren't bright enough, we we just need 1,700 more lights. I think we need 30 more rock lights in each wheel well as yes. well. Uh, that'll, that'll probably do the job. And then some some wheel lights and some axle lights and some mirror, I actually do have mirror lights, and some some cab lights and oh, cab some lights. and some star lights and and some glow sticks for in between the springs. For inside your frame rail? <laughs> glow in the dark lug nuts. That kind of looks better now. With lights in the, the bumper? Do they work? Uh, they will work. After we Bluetooth wire them to the clapper, yeah. Yeah, the clapper. <laughs> I don't think Megan's ever looked this clean in her life. Wow, not bad. I don't think she's ever had Water for Gabe Carroll? Yeah, that's me. Living in Longhorn and uh, F450? Yep, that's, that's, right. that's it. Jade? Those have never looked that clean in its life. Those are cleaner than when I bought them. Holy cow. Whoa! Yo, my axles are red? Wow. That shit looks really good. All right, let's go to Atlanta. No, we'll find better saying Rick Ross's house. Oh yeah, let's go to Rick Ross's house. <laughs> Last night we decided to come all the way down to Atlanta to uh, hang out with Rick Ross today. So uh, I just got these details before we left. This looks disgusting, that looks horrendous. So, there's a car wash down the road. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off Megan, we're gonna go wash him. He says that he can get into a car wash with a trailer. Sick. And then, uh, then we're gonna go hang out with Rick Ross today. But, can't pull up with dirty vehicles. From what I saw on Instagram, people have been showing up for like the past like three days. Yeah, Plus. Dude, this is gonna be nuts. Wow. Oh, my oh my god! god. Is that the White House? <laughs> oh my, look at the gate! Bro, what? The gate costs more than my life. The promised land. This is nuts. We're literally driving our trucks on Rick Ross's frickin' land. What's over there? It has horses! <laughs> well, duh, the statues are well, just saw, decoys like... for the real ones. <laughs> this is nuts. This is this dude's driveway. He has like a ranch on one side, a mansion on the other, a frickin' pond. <laughs> what doesn't he have? I haven't even been across like a quarter of the property. We're trying to find out where to put this trailer. It's kind of hard. He has so much land, we can't find trailer parking at his house. Holy shit. 
got the truck parked. Nice view of the mansion. We're gonna go check out some cars and trucks before it's absolutely hectic and we can't film anything because- We gotta walk all the way back side to go to the bathroom. Bro, oh, come on, <laughs> man. What the heck is this? Them some dishes right there. Holy crap. Those are 30s. Probably Davis and I kind of like the front end on it. I dig it. Yo, LP's here. Logan's here? No way. <laughs> A lot of dogs. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I actually have a Papa Ten. I left that home. And merch. Is that home? Four G's. Calderman. Damn. It's clean. It's clean. You know, it's probably just a tow rig, too. Ross was Bailey. They're, they're beater. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely the beater. <laughs> Holy cow. Donkmaster's tow rig is literally my next truck. Yeah. Two tone of Luma Duty. Yeah. But it's, what's inside the trailer? It's that two tone AP I got on. I'm kind of two tone AP. <laughs> hey, you know what? Not a good Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I will say, Dave, yeah. you pull up to the biggest truck show in, in the United States and your truck is covered in mud. But you know, the you know you had to come to the double R and I, get her dialed in. I can say I did get my truck washed twice for Rick Ross. That's how important he is. You know what it is? So when he needs his driveway edge, Hop in the Urus with the weed whacker. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the door open. Hey, can anybody guess Rick Ross's favorite color? I, I think it, I it might hot. I, I think it's green. All right, all right. Let's just let's just go down. We'll start with the color red first. We'll just go down the red line real quick. Got a got a got an old school Chevy on hydraulics. Lambo Urus. Ferrari. With the with the nice little white stripes, cab over with a custom bike to match, cause, cause you gotta have something to put on and, the back. Then just a six door Kodiak <laughs> with with Silverado headlights molded into I it. Know who uh, then we get to the old classics that probably cost more than my life. For your vending station, please exit the property. Oh. We will party tomorrow. We gotta we go. Ask that you turn off all music. And once you get done loading, please exit. The I don't want to leave. This is ridiculous. Lacey did this. That, that's that's the one that Lacey did. Remember the wheels next to my truck? Yeah. Oh, actually, Cardi. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Long Thank time no see. Please. That's Haley's. Thank you. We will see if it's you my little booty perfectly, <laughs> they custom made it to fit me. I love this baby blue theme. This is awesome. I think he has four of these trucks. I found the Ford Giotto booth. It starts with the King Ranch and then that and then, and then yeah they posted a picture that they were coming and they were at like a bucky's and the whole bucky's was all forgiato then we move on to white oh i freaking love those wheels those are sick and and then we and then we move to camouflage That's <laughs> sema sema just come to rick ross's house yeah. <laughs> same thing I know better. that is rick ross's tank rick ross tank got it gotta have a tank the Jeep is on tracks? What the fuck? Robert's on the state patrol. He has his own police. Look. He has his own police? Oh my god. He, Rick Ross is probably the coolest person ever. Do you think Lil Wayne has his own police? Bro, he lives on an island in Miami. That is true. Bloggers. Hey, hey, talk, talk about lineup. Jesus Christ. Keep it going. Keep it going. Brian, think, Keep it like, going. There's still people at Keep work today. Keep it going. <laughs> Keep it going. These are all one dude's cars. Or trucks. Oh, That's a Mercedes truck. That's pretty on nice, 46 actually. On 46s. <laughs> and then you don't need one F450. You need one, two, three, three F450s. And then another. And then a side-by-side -side bigger than the actual F450. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to build a SEMA truck. But I'm also going to build a SEMA side-by-side -side that's bigger than my SEMA truck. Cause why not? <laughs> Taryn, look at the trailer. They're matching. Oh my God, I said it was a Jeep. That's just my eyesight bad. Yeah, it's a Durango. It. I'm getting too excited. I'm not even gonna leave anything for tomorrow. We have, we, we gotta go. There is a McLaren though. I wanna go look at the McLaren. On the wheels. 
Yes, that is freaking baller. That you need that. Another one too. I know. I should do that. Damn. Next level, mats. There's actually a lot of big trucks from Chicago here. Damn. He's from Ohio, but you know, Chicago, Ohio, same same thing. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. There's a lot more trucks than I, I thought there would be. Thought it would be like the only trucks. Maybe not the only truck, but not this many. That thing's sick. I feel so bad. I'm getting dust all over shit. Good morning. So basically, we're down here in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Rick Ross, if you don't know who he is, you live under a rock. He owns a place called The Promised Land. It's like a $30 million mansion and property here in Atlanta, Georgia. I didn't know this until a couple weeks ago, but Rick Ross has a huge car collection of well over a hundred cars. That's a lot of cars. And they're not Toyota Camrys. Like they're very, very, very high end expensive cars and they're all custom. He decided to have a first annual car show. I hope he has these more because I will definitely be looking forward to going this next year. Just the setup day was absolutely insane. Like this is not like any car show. You're literally parking in his yard and looking at the mansion. It's, it's such like a cool vibe and everybody's super nice there so far. Megan's already there. I got the fifth gen. If I'm not late, <laughs> the fifth gen will go into the show too. But either way, we're gonna have a good time. There's so many vehicles here. Everybody's Snapchat is popping right now. The amount of vehicles that are going to be here, there's gonna be Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Bugattis, big trucks freaking bicycles, banshees, everything. So, it's gonna be a good time. Sit back and enjoy the show. Rick Ross, can you sign my forehead? I flex it too hard, so it bends the sway bar again, so we're just ditching sway bar. You don't need those. You don't need sway bars. 
I'll be able to three wheel it. <laughs> What kind of dog that is? That that's a that's a no that's a mastiff. That's a great dane. I thought that was a golden poodle. So CJ actually never saw my truck in person, but we got CJ and Corey here and Stunton. We're all gonna go check out my dually. Somehow CJ lives right down the road from me, still so never even saw it yet. Trying to go check it out. We got a golf cart with four G's. Oh shit! Then we have a golf cart in four G's. Show is freaking massive, but it's nice though. It's so big here that doesn't even feel that big. Like it ain't crowded at all. I've never been to a show where there's 10,000 cars and there's still gaps in the road where you can walk. And like I expected it to be real hard to film, but it's really, it's not, it ain't that bad. There's a lot of trucks, actually more trucks than what I thought. They got six by sixes, they got trucks on 30s, they got dualies on 30s, a lot of dualies. A lot of people have their donks and then they got, they got to have a tow rig to match the donk. So then they end up buying a brand new dually and then they got to have the wheels match the other donk. So they put 30s on their tow rig, which match their donk. It's pretty sick. I need a donk. I'm gonna check that out, man. Where you get that big ass? <laughs> what's on there? 50s? Uh, 53s. God damn. Tiny. He's back at it. That one looks better because it's newer. It looks oh, facts. The same, same year as the other one. Yeah. It's just clean. I keep that one nice. Yeah. I only put it in the mud once. Not only once. Yeah. That bitch looks clean. That one's too big, man. It goes up and down, too. It's, got a, it's on air ride, so. Oh, it's on air ride. Yep. My, I brought my tiny trucks. Man, look at this shit. Well, you is wild thousands. <laughs> wild thousands, my boy. Damn. Stand underneath it. <laughs> Omar, Omar tires on his yeah. Oh yeah, he he's got he's got 58. Those are 53s, but mine's a dually. So. Oh, is, oh, you, oh yeah, you got a dually. Shit, that's crazy. Yeah. Big ass track. He's literally standing underneath it. Yeah, this motherfucker's crazy. This motherfucker's big as hell. Look at all that shit, bro. My shit big, but my shit ain't that guy. Yeah, he is. My shit, my shit. Too, right here, bro. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not all right. Man. What's your name? Hey, my name's Derek, man. Nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. You gonna try to jump inside of it? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Want me to show you how I do it first? I got the door. That's the easy way. All right. Is that going on your channel? Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> Ain't bad. <laughs> Here, you want the keys? Go ahead. <laughs> Rev it up, yeah. What you think? What I think? I need help getting down. <laughs> Hollywood Mike, you might have some competition here. Holy shit. Everything's engraved. 
God damn. That's art right there. That is insane. It probably has years of engraving on it. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> oh, hey. I swear, ever since I bought that truck, that color is like a trend. We see it everywhere now. Brandon, one day we can have a car collection like Lil Baby. Yeah, they literally came in on a semi. I just want, I'll just take the semi. <laughs> we can squeeze Megan in there somehow. And we can all drive comfortably. Yeah. Honestly, this one's my favorite one. Okay. This one or the McLaren. We gotta find Lil Baby though. I mean, okay. he's literally right there. Hi. I think it's the B stands for baller. I would do that all day, every day if I own that too. Brandon just bought a quad. Impulse decision. Gave one to go right on Monday. <laughs> talking to everybody so i'm gonna try to bring megan up by the mansion and take a picture see what we can do it's really freaking big and it's it's meant to drive lambos up not not big trucks we shall try See whenever we're at truck shows. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder where I wonder where Rick Ross is. So everybody's packing up and leaving. Eventually, it's going to take a very long time to get out of here. So we don't know. The trailer's parked right next to Rick Ross's garage. 
which is cool. I mean, like, he can just keep it if he really wants, but the show is over. But I don't think we're leaving any, anytime soon, so, yeah. But anyway, somewhere, summary of the show, it was pretty freaking decent. There was a lot of people here, and even though there was a lot of people here, it was very, like, it was organized. Like, everybody knew where what to do and where to go. There was tons of space. Like, he could have had another 10,000 cars here. The, where Lil Baby was parked, there was a whole spot to have a whole nother show. So, that was pretty sick. I mean, there's so much room. People were pulling semis into the show. So, that's how much room there is. Yeah, but I had fun. A lot of cool people. Everybody was super duper nice. I didn't meet one person that was an asshole. Not literally, not one person. Shout out to Rick Ross for throwing an awesome show and showing me how I want to have my shows one day. Big shout out to Infinite Customs for putting this camera on because like right now, you can barely see anything. They throw that camera in there, you can see everything. I won't run over any more Camaros. What is that? What the car doing? This shit is nuts. It's gonna take forever to get out. We're gonna be here for a bit. Yo, are you Gabe Farrell Productions? Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Started at least. Can you start your four wheeler, uh, son? Of course you can start. Go, go ahead. Have, have fun, son. Thanks, Dad. Yep. Oh, I like it. Thanks. Thanks for the birthday. Please. No, no problem. My birthday is tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, two days. And Gabe bought me a four wheeler. He said, "You know what, Brandon? It was nice to have you around. You should probably go back to the four wheeler." <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I gotta check engine light. Ah, fuck. This isn't the fifth gen. The, a second gen? <laughs> <laughs> I want the key or should I just leave it in it? Yeah, I'll take the key. The you know, I'm either gonna go through the side of the bed or. Ah, fuck it. See, I like having Brandon around because he's like an expert trailer parker and I'm just like not like look at look at him just like hanging them over I, I, I couldn't do that I would have hit that pole first try yeah, fuck that tree fuck that tree I mean I'll get the trailer where it needs to go you just won't have any more landscaping, telephone poles, curbs, trailer. trailer. It's fine. Would you look at that? VIP parking here at the Steak and Shake. She wanted Taco Bell. She's pissed. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs>